What's up, everybody? This is Schism, and welcome back to Flyboys. This is the first episode that we are recording post battle. We have, upon Purple's, uh, oh, hello, zombie. Upon Purple's domination of Battle One, we have added new server members, redrawn teams, and moved to a new area. We've added three server members: Generic and Etho, two great guys who you probably already know. And we've also added Dark Fan, who's uh, another guy you might probably words you probably don't know as well. Uh, he's a really nice guy. I've known him for a long time, and you should definitely go check out his videos. He will now be in the new description. So what we did was we redrew the teams. Uh, team Purple, uh, the Team Purple and Gold became Black and Red. Team Black is exactly Team Purple. Plus Cube is the weirdest thing. I wasn't there for the team drawing. But it is the exact same team, plus we got cute. Now, the other weird thing, uh, not the weird thing that happened, but uh, Team Red, that means is, you know, half of previous Team Gold, it's B-Dub and Pungence, and then they also got Dark Fan and Etho. So, teams are, oh, hello, hello, you are silver, are you not? You might be seeing some new things here. We added a few mods, and we'll talk about that in a second. Uh, that is silver, right? No, it's tin. Tin and copper, yeah. So we added new server members, we knew we moved to this new mega ti mega taiga biome. And let me show you how I got here. Oh, it's I'm underground, I can't show you my map. My map is very stupid. Let me go upstairs real quick here. I wanna show you guys my path. Yep. So here's where we are. Here look. Oh, I'm right here. I went this way. And then I went this way, and then this way, and then this way, and then this way. I was very confused. <laughs> I was very confused on how to get here at first. I wasn't reading the mini map quite correctly, uh, and it took me way longer than it was supposed to. But we are in the new area, we have new server members, and we added a bunch of new mods. Let me explain. We have added, I got a list here, smart moving, which means we can do laying on ground. Where's my F5, please? We can lay on ground. We can crawl. Uh, we can do. Nope, I am pressing every single wrong button on my keyboard. Uh, a lot of the stuff, it's all the same stuff that we could do in Survival of the Fittest. I actually need to remap that. Uh, I need to remap that key because it's not working right. It's not, it's not great for me, but I'll show you guys more smart moving stuff later. It's pretty sweet. Uh, what is this? That's cobble. What's this? That's two different cobbles. Weird. Um, we had a smart moving. We had a thermal expansion. So we get these these new ores, and we have the ability to uh, do some ore processing to increase our output. We had a tinkers. Uh, I'm not really quite. wasn't totally sold on tinkers, but apparently it added some pretty cool new uh, features, and it adds easier slime for the C4. I guess I like it. Um, and then. The one, I think the one thing we decided was that we're not going to use the Tinker's weapons because they're a little too overpowered for the balance of the pack, which I'm totally for. Uh, we added a crazy awesome mod that I've never heard of uh, called, I think it's, I forget what it's exactly called. I'm sure it'll be in the description soon. But it's a mod that adds uh, gases to mining when you mine certain types of material like coal or whatever it has a chance of releasing this gas and if you're using torches because they have an exposed flame you risk explosion which is just ama an amazing concept I'm gonna see if I can show it to you guys here I will probably kill myself and I can't believe I'm not finding any coal right now let me see if I can dig into a wall real quick here how am I not finding any coal? Coal is the easiest thing in the game to find Let's poke a couple holes. Holes looking for coals. I'm about to sneeze. Don't do it. Don't sneeze into the mic. There's more iron, which is great. Okay, so if we find coal, I'll show you guys. Uh, I think I have a basic understanding of how it works. Uh, we've got carpenter's blocks and custom NPCs and security craft. Custom NPCs is a mod that I found and suggested. And, oh, hello, Orberry Bush. I accept you. Very nice. Forgot, I didn't know the Orberry bushes. I guess they're part of 
thermal? Yeah. So, custom NPCs is going to be very cool. It allows us to create these little non-playable characters that we can add into the game, and we can make them do things and say things and give us sorts of quests. It's going to be very, very interesting and cool. Um, I got a couple ideas already for some dudes I want to add, but uh, it's going to be pretty neat. So, the general plan for right now, and as soon as I get back upstairs, I will show you guys. The general plan for right now is we have this area, where is it? Right here. There's this area. This is kind of like a, I'm not, it's going to become a river. I'm not sure if the river is going to go this way or this way. But Team Black and Team Red are going to be building on either sides of the river. And we're going to be building kind of like a city. Not like a, uh, you know, not like like metropolis type of thing. But we're going to have lots of buildings on each side. And the whole schematic of mod is really going to come in handy. Oh, here we go. I've actually got a couple ideas for some awesome buildings I want to add. But let me check this out here. Yeah, yeah, look at that. Look at that. Look at that. Huh. Uh huh. Look at that gas. Okay. So let me see. Let me put a torch over here. It's an open flame. Ah. Oh, it didn't reach it. Okay. <laughs> oh, it's very scary. It's just a big black mist. Okay. Okay, guys. We're going to try it. We're going to try. We're going to try. Yep. Yep. Ooh, ooh. Holy moly. Holy moly. Wow. And that is the risky run with the coal gas. Why did I place that torch instantly like I just said I shouldn't do? Okay, great. Yep. Now, because of that, I think that mod actually adds a lantern. Yeah, lantern with... Wait, lantern with close to the lantern with bottle. Yeah, it adds different types of lanterns that you can create. Uh, which are actually pretty easy to craft. And they are your torches that you can use. Well, oh, geez. They're your, they're your torches that you can use while mining. Uh, so that you don't create many, many explosions while you work. Which is a great thing. So, oh, man. This adds so many cool new things to this mod pack. I, this is just, you know, I got it. B-Dubs is, he's one of the, one of the, you know, I don't want to use, there's a lot of, I like him. He's a good guy, but he's just so smart with this stuff. He does such a great job of finding things that are going to work well together and creating a, like an experience. You know, he did an amazing job with Survival of the Fittest. He's doing an amazing job with this. Oh, crap. Oh, I thought that was a torch. It's a hunk of meat. Give me the coal, please. Great. Yeah, he just did an amazing job with all this stuff. You got to go, make sure you go, uh, make sure you go thank him for all his hard work. Oh, crap. So what we're going to do here is I'm going to explore a little bit more. Uh, we don't have, I don't think we have any buildings built yet. This is, looks like it's another cave. I'm going to go do a little bit of exploring. I'll bring you guys back in. I'm still a little sick, so I don't want to record for long stretches here because I start to, like, my, my body starts to leak, which is super gross. So I'll be back in a few minutes, guys. All right, guys. So we are back here at the, uh, the cutoff point between what will be the two cities that we're building. Right now, we are here where my little blue arrow is. We are south and east of this area. And Team Black is gonna be building kind of in this spot. So right now we actually don't have any buildings at all. Uh, we just started off yesterday. What we're, what we're planning on doing, we just have a little, little structure here. Uh, we are planning on building, I think, back into this area and maybe having uh, a main base kind of back in this moat. Maybe that might be too close. That is pretty close, we'll see. Um, I've already got a couple awesome schematica builds up that I'm going to throw in here at some point. But the first thing I want to do is I want to test out some of the security craft stuff because this stuff looks amazing. Uh, one of the things that I think is pretty crucial to security craft is you can throw nine buttons together to make a keypad. 
Now, I don't know if the keypad, yes. Keypad does do things on its own. Okay. So you can make a keypad. Can I mine that? Oh, crap. Might have just broken it. You know what? There might be a spe. Oh, crud. What did I do? <laughs> there might be a special security craft thing that gets that out, but I have no idea. Creative tabs, security craft technical, code. Oh, code breaker. That's sweet. There's just awesome looking stuff here. Universal block remover. Hello. That might not be a thing that we can make in survival. Uh, I might have screwed up a little bit here. Cage trap, portable reader, reinforced. See, this is what I want to make. The password protected chest. Username logger. Dude, come on. Cage trap? Oh. Oh, wow. Universal block remover. Let me see if there's a thing to make that. There is. Shears and then sh more iron. Let me do that. And then you do shears and then you do iron. And you get the universal block remover, which looks like a huge mace. Hang on, let me sleep real quick. Oh, crap. Don't universal block remove the bed. Great. Sleepy time. Daytime. Perfect. Awesome. Very cool. Very cool. Okay. So here's how we make this chest. We need a normal chest. We use... and don't have enough iron. Hello. I take my iron, please. We do a chest. We do a keypad. And we do iron. And it gives us a password-protected chest. Let's see how this bad boy works. If I put this down, right-click, password protected chest setup, code. Um, let's just say, <clears throat> I'm sure we can change this later. Nah, I don't want to do five boys. Let's do uh, password. <laughs> no, <laughs> we can't do that. I'm cutting. I'm cutting and I'm bringing it back. No, I'm going to put the code in later. Uh, code's going to be gonna be black black for the team baby save and continue invalid code what how what what is it does it have to be freaking case sensitive does it have to be a capital letter oh maybe it's got to be numeric maybe it's got to be numeric um Let's go one, two, three, four. Awesome. Oh, oh, that's sweet. Every time you want to get in there, and you can even use your keypad on your on your computer. That's awesome. Now, if I universal, whoops, if I universal block remove that, and then I want to set it back down, new code amazing amazing oh that's so good okay so let me put this down here we have we're setting a new code for this bad boy i'm not showing anybody what it is i'll be right back guys this is one of the whoop, laggy this is one of the cool hello laggy this is one of the coolest things third try uh, that i've ever seen in this minecraft game in this minecraft game let's I'm talk like i'm 80 now uh right click password protected you don't even have to click boom i'm in that is so good and i'm sure that the regular keypad outputs a redstone signal so you can use that just on regular doors and things like that oh my goodness oh my goodness so what we're going to do is we're going to take some of the stuff that we brought over hello who shoots this guy shoots Yeah, baby. Yes. I am so pumped. I am so pumped for this. Let's put all this stuff away. Let's put all this stuff away. So we are going to take all the good stuff. And we will hide in... Brought a little bit of stuff over from the old base. We will hide in password protected chest for show. Okay, this we need on us at all times. 
We're in. We're in. We are so in. Mmm. I am loving it. I love it so much. I love it so, 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 so much. Perfect. Okay. So what I'm doing here is uh, I'm going to keep these guns away for right now. Um, they were the guns that we relied on heavily, and they served us super well for the first battle. Right now, I'm just using the pistol that I have, the USP. And I'm going to try to make a couple new guns to use this time around. I might still use those guys uh, when when push comes to shove. But I'm going to try a couple new guns out here uh, as my main guys. So give me another minute. I want to check out a couple more of these security craft things. Actually, maybe I'll do that with you right now. If we go to the creative tabs, we can go to security crafts. Explosives. Mine. What? Dude. Furnace mine. Bouncing Betty. <gasps> Track mine. What? Reinforced iron door. Code breaker. Reinforced stone. Alarm. Wow. 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 Retinal scanner. Let's try this bad boy out. I feel like this might be amazing. Retinal scanner. Oh god. Okay. Stone around an eye of ender. Do we have I don't think we brought over we had blaze powder back at base, but we don't we didn't bring any of that over. And there's no quick way of getting there. Okay. Okay. So let's check something else out here. Security craft technical inventory scanner. Huh. I wonder if that only lets you in certain areas if you have a certain thing on you. That could be amazing. Remote mine remote access tool level three key card. Wow. I am I am seriously floored by this stuff. I am seriously floored by these things. This is the gas mod. Uh oh, baby woke up. Baby poops himself awake every single day. Technical laser block. Keypad retinal scanner. Let's check out this laser block. We can make that. Redstone block, stone, glass pane. Let's do it. No. Let's get in my chest, why don't we? Redstone block. Stone. Glass pane. Crap. Okay. I will make this and I'll be right back with you guys. Baby upset. So I gotta go soon, guys. But check this out. Oh, lordy. I'm gonna have to try to uh, do a couple refinements on this thing. We're getting a little bit of laggy every now and then. So th the laser block is actually very cool. It requires two of them. Hello. Oh, creep. No, creep. Creepy, no creep. Okay, okay. Gun doesn't have to fire or hit anything correctly. Great. So, oh man, he's mad, isn't he? Let's check this out. This is pretty cool. Uh, it requires two, and they have to be uh, in line of sight of each other. And when you pass through, you see these flare up a little bit on top. These actually output redstone signals when you pass through. Now, oh man, he is not happy right now. My wife's getting him. He's a bobby right in a second. <laughs> Probably changing that full diaper. You know how it is, parents. You know what I'm talking about. Oh, man. This episode has quickly devolved. <laughs> okay, so here we go. You pass through. Al puts a redstone signal. You could use this for traps. You could use it for base entrance. Pretty sweet. Here's the trick. Uh, the nice thing about it is that uh, I guess the, close, the closest equivalent would be tripwire. But the nice thing about this is that even though it's a little more visually obvious, it doesn't uh, output any sound. The tripwire makes that click noise when you go over it, which can alert someone if you're trying to lure them into a trap. Uh, and also, this could be very cool because it can also do... And you need this block mover. Because it can also do this. You can put it, uh, I believe, I'm assuming, that you can do any orientation with it oh yeah oh yeah baby that's awesome that's so good that's really perfect I love it I love it I love it I love it so we could use that for base entrances we could use that for a variety of things and have some pretty cool contraptions 
So anyway, guys, we are back. Flyboys is back, and it's gonna be epic this time. If you didn't, if you had the slightest hint that it wasn't massive and amazing last time, it is getting there this time. It's gonna be two huge cities. Last time was ridiculous. The battle was insane, and that was just two bases. This is gonna be two cities. So listen, guys, that's gonna do it. Thank you for watching. I'm gonna go see why Baby is crying so hard. He's kind of calming down a little bit. Maybe because my wife did the nice thing and changed his massive poop diaper. You think? He'd be a little more appreciative of that fact. But no. No. He just complains. Anyway, that's going to do it, guys. Thanks for watching. We will be back with more later on. Maybe tomorrow. I'll let you guys know. We'll see you.